Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to learn how to approximate square roots. And in our first example, we have square root of 38. Now, when we're talking about approximating our square root, we are looking at getting the approximation, not the exact answer. So to determine or to show that I'm approximating a value, I'm going to do a little curved equal sign instead of the regular equal sign. Now, you probably wonder why I have a calculator off to the side. Mainly, it's just to check my work. So let's get started with our first step. In looking at our first step, we have said what square root is before and after that is a perfect square. So in what we have memorized before, going 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. When we get to 6 times 6, it's 36. So radical 36, or square root of 36, is going to give me an integer of 6, our whole number of 6. And then we look at, okay, then what is 7 times 7? Okay, that is radical 49. And so we know that square root of 38 is going to be in between 6 and 7. Now, the next step that we have in finding the approximation of the square root is to see what is the distance between 36 and 38, and that is 2. So we increase it by 2, and what is the distance between our perfect squares? And we have figured out that 49 minus 36 is 13. So we can create our numerator is going to be its distance, and our denominator will be the distance between, between our perfect squares. Now we see that our answer has to be 6. It can't be 7. 7 would be too big, and it's definitely square root of 38 is a lot farther away from square root of 49. So we know it's going to be 6 point something. So it's going to be 6 point approximately, and we want to find to the nearest tenth of a decimal point. So what is 2 divided by 13? So we're going to click 2 divided by 13, and that's going to give us, let's see what our answer is, 0 0.153. So 2 over 13 is going to equal 0 0.15 three, eight, et cetera, et cetera. So if we're going to be rounding off to the nearest tenth, I'm going to look, this is our tenth value. I look at the hundredths value. And if it is five or greater, we're going to increase that number to, from a one to a two. So the approximation of radical 38 is approximately 6.2. Now let's move on to our next problem. Our next problem is going to ask us to compare two radicals. And so I am going to go ahead and compare, let me get my correct marker here, radical six and radical eight. Now, a couple things that we know, and let me delete this for you. So we have to see if we're going to compare. When we see that they are asking us to compare the radicals, we're going to ask ourselves, which is greater than or less than? So radical 6, we have to say, is less than radical 8 because our radicals go in order from smallest to greatest. So radical 6 is, let's just double check, what is, and let me pull this down just a little bit. So let's see, radical 6 is going to be 2.44 or 2.45 since this 9, we're going to round it up. And then we're going to see what is the square root of 8. And that's going to be 2.44. Eight, three. So in comparison, we can use our calculator to find the exact, or we could do it like our previous problem and find out what the approximate value is so we can come up with our correct answer. All right.
And our last possible problem is going to be radical 51. What is the approximation of radical 51? So what two perfect squares does it fall into? Well, the last one we have radical 49. That was 7 times 7. And so the next one would be 8 times 8, which is 64. All right, so we know that the approximate value is going to be 7 point, uh, a number, 7 point something, because we're rounding it to the nearest tenth. So we ask ourselves, what's the distance between these two? It is 2. And it seems like all of my examples are distance of 2. Didn't plan that, but that's the way it goes. And then the distance here from 49 to 64 is 15. So my denominator is 15. My numerator is, I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit, is 2. So let's go ahead and see 2 divided by 15. And that gives us an answer of 0 0.133. Three. So if I'm going to round this up, it's not five or higher, so I'm going to keep it as a one. So my answer of radical 51 is approximately 7.1. Hey, for fun, let's go ahead and see what the actual one is and see how close we are to our answer. Let's stretch this out. 7.14, and our approximation was seven, going to be 7.7.13. .7 three, we're pretty darn close, only a hundredth of a point off. So that's a pretty good, accurate answer. So here in this video, you learned about approximating square roots and also comparing square roots and hope this was pretty clear to you and that you found success.